Now, as you know, we love GB News on this channel and there is nothing we love more than when GB News tackle the hot topics, specifically climate change, because you know that they're going to be well researched and they're going to bring on the guests the, the experts in their fields, the ones, the, the people that we really need to hear from on this subject. Uh, last year, for instance, we had the, the big Just Stop Oil protest, big hot topic, you know, should we be exploring for more oil when uh, scientists across the world are telling us that we're in real danger of global warming and, and global temperatures are really heating up. Uh, so when we had that nonsense, who better to bring on the 1994's Generation Game host, Jim Davidson. And these people don't look as if they've ever worked a day in their life. They're all silly little kids, aren't they? And really old, withered white people with nothing better to do because the bingo halls have all shut. <laughs> and of course, last week we had the amazing, the great Paul Burgess, GB News' resident climate scientist. He's actually a water resource manager for Wales, but, you know, we'll keep that hush. He's, he, he's a climate scientist, according to GB News. Uh, Tim talked about wildfires. Okay, there we are. There's wildfires. Now, what they've done, Biden hid this. When he came to power, he had this deleted from the official forestry record. And that's from 19... 19... What? You're just going to throw that one out there, are you, with no evidence whatsoever? Yeah, when Biden came along, he just deleted all the records and, uh, and, uh, and, and yeah, yeah, just believe me, because I said, <laughs> plugs of that phone nutcase. And if it couldn't get any better than that, the latest guest that Neil Oliver brought on his show to talk about climate science is Chris Tarrant's ex-wife. Now, when I saw this, I assumed that, oh, she must have... Uh, you know, some sort of background in environment agency or something. But no, no, it's just Chris Tarrant's ex-wife. She'd done a few celebrity shows and now she's obviously qualified to talk about climate science. Being new. How do you feel at this time of year and listening to what was said in recent days about the climate crisis? You know, I'm on the same page as you, every single page. Um, climate change. Um, I've always thought it was a nonsense. There you go, go home. Go home, climate scientists. Forget your work, forget your decades of work you've been doing on climate science and greenhouse gases. Chris Tarrant's ex-wife says climate change is a nonsense. Before this started getting rammed down our throats, um, I understood um, cyclical changes, um, experienced extreme climates from like lots of snow one year to not others. I remember in Norway, there was snow up to the, the first floor window as I woke up one morning and there it all was. How is this evidence against climate change? That there's a lot of snow in Norway in winter. Oh God, do you hear these absolutely idiotic arguments all the time? Well, it's cold here in England in December. What's all this climate change then? It will still be cold in England. It will still be cold in Norway. These are the countries that don't really have to worry about climate change. It's sub-Sahara Africa. It's the Middle East where temperatures are becoming unlivable. They're the countries that need to worry about climate change. They're the countries that are being affected by climate change. And as always, the poorest of countries that are being affected. There's a lot of snow in Norway. No shit. That was quite rare. Oh. We've been able to walk the fjords on ice. Um, sometimes it's warmer, sometimes it's really cold. <laughs> sometimes it's warm, sometimes it's cold, sometimes it's here, sometimes there's snow there, sometimes there's snow there, sometimes there's a little bit of snow and it's a bit warm there and it's a bit cold. All evidence against climate change, of course. <laughs> Not a... and, um, and this has been something that I've been quite passionate about. I don't know why, uh, but for years and years, because of nature. I love nature. Um, so, of course, when this started to, to come out and be rolled out and we were kind of the brainwashing started, as they so cleverly do. Um, I've just thought this is absolute rubbish. In fact, I did a little um, look. Now I'm going to show you this. I went to the Museum of London some time ago. The, it's missing there because somebody was standing in front of them. <laughs> there's, a, there's a head there. So I don't... She's drawn that herself, hasn't she? Oh, my God. She's got a handwritten graph. <laughs> How is this not a parody? How is this GB News segment not a parody? How is this evidence of, of against climate change? I don't quite know what how what happens I there. You can see the pattern. But you can see the pattern. This is the current climate change. We're going back to 400 BC. 
uh, to 50,000 uh, 400,000 BC sorry yes to 50,000 BC and that's it and then it, it's going up and up and up this demonstrates very nothing. clearly it, it demonstrates nothing it demonstrates that temperature has gone up and down throughout history we know this we know we've had ice ages we know it was very hot during the dinosaurs but it doesn't dispute the science of 97 percent of scientists across the whole world that agree that greenhouse gases are currently rising the temperature on our planet which is due to us burning too much carbon dioxide chris tarrant's ex-wife is not going to change anyone's opinion uh the thing is like neil oliver is an intelligent guy isn't he i mean surely he's embarrassed by this he must be embarrassed by this i mean it's <laughs> I don't know how it's not a parody. And I don't know what GB News are going to do next. Who are they going to get on next? Bobby Davro's ex-wife with a pencil chart, a paper pie chart that she's done or something. I mean, this woman, I, 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 like I said before, I assume that she must have had some sort of credential or something in the field of, of climate science. But no, nothing. She's just someone who's just thought, I, I'll take an interest in this and there's you know I like snow in Norway and there's there's a chart at the museum and I'll guess I'll come on live TV on a, 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 a British network and talk from some sort of authority but there will be people watching this that will still quite happily believe Chris Tarrant's ex-wife over the thousands of climate scientists on there and it, it just it blows my mind it really does blow my mind <laughs> oh dear if you like the video click a like if you uh, haven't subscribed you can subscribe up top and there'll be another video you can check that out as well jesus christ where are they going next gb news i'm excited to find out though